Have you ever wanted to have more control over the support of your 3D printed models? I was just lamenting that fact that resin print slicers have had the ability all along for you to manually specify where supports go. But I wanted to have this ability on the bamboo printer. So stay tuned. This is what I learned. As it turns out, with the Orca slicer, I actually do. Well, Bamboo Studio has it too, but I discovered it first on the Orca slicer when trying to define exactly the supports that I needed for the center spar section of this 3D printed airplane model. As you can see, I designed this spar in three sections so that they could interlock. To keep it light, there is a void on the less critical center areas of the spar. The outboard panels are designed in such a way that when laid flat on the build plate, the tabs that interlock the spars need supports. And there's also a groove on the top and bottom of this spar for either a carbon rod or Kevlar thread for reinforcement. When I turn supports on automatically by default, it tries to support the overhang of this tiny groove, and I know from experience that this is overkill and not needed. I only want the tabs supported. Now there's a number of setting changes that would accomplish this, but I wanted to quickly be able to tell the slicer to only support this one piece. So here's how to do it. In your settings under the support tab, when you enable support, go to the pull down, and instead of the default normal automatic setting, either use tree or normal manual. Now, with that selected, if you select a part on your screen and highlight it, then come up to this top ribbon, you can see where you have the option of support painting. Now, using a paintbrush type tool, paint over the area that you want the supports to exist. After this, once you slice, you will see that supports only occur exactly where you just specified for them to be and nowhere else. Now, I found this to be a quick and simple hack, and it was right under my nose the whole time, so I wanted to share. And this question actually arose while creating a video blog for the entire construction of this RC plane from slicing to printing to building and then to flying. So we'll be putting that out very soon. If this sounds interesting to you, please like and subscribe. And better yet, just watch our next video here.